well met and happy medieval Monday. We're going to keep going with our room or accommodation types um, by talking about chambers. And I've already talked about chambers pretty extensively in the video on aesthetics and comfort. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time in this video. I'll just go over the basics. As with any room type, you're going to want walls, a door, and a ceiling, or a roof. And we're going to do the regular chamber first. And to make one of those, you need one bed. And that's it. That's the only requirement. Um, leave room for furniture is my suggestion, and it cannot contain shrines or entertainment structures, workstations, or infirmary beds. Um, whoever sleeps in a chamber, especially like their own private chamber, will get a mood modifier, um, and they'll, they'll just be happy to have a quiet place of their own. And there are no prerequisites for research with a chamber. Um, your first furniture can literally be a pile of hay on the floor and it'll still count as a chamber. Um, you can make these more lavish as you get further along in your research and your settlers will become happier. Just keep an eye on them because they can get jealous. A shared chamber is exactly what it sounds like. As soon as you add more than one bed to a room, it becomes a shared chamber. It should meet all of the other criteria for a chamber, so it should have at least two beds, um, space for furniture, and it cannot have shrines, entertainment structures, workstations, or infirmary beds. In a shared chamber, they'll also get a, a positive mood modifier for sleeping in there, but they get a bigger mood modifier if they have a private chamber. And again, there's no research requirements or prerequisites, but I strongly suggest you make the chambers large um, so that you can upgrade their quarters as you get further along in the game. Because at some point, um, you can get really extravagant and, and hit superior or even luxurious levels of sleeping quarters, which, which boosts the mood modifiers. And like I mentioned in the aesthetics and comfort video, you can add other things to the chamber to boost its appeal and levels of comfort. So upgrading the beds, um, adding things like chests and armor racks and bookshelves and tapestries and paintings and trophies and banners, all those sorts of things that the settlers enjoy. Eventually, you will have more and more awesome places for your settlers to sleep and they will be happier because of it. And that's going to do it for me today. Uh, short and sweet, I know. Be sure to smash the subscribe button because next week I am going to talk about the Great Hall. Yes. And until next time, farewell.